Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Today I'll discuss two statistical paradoxes often encountered in social sciences, business management, and organizational studies. Number one is Bergson's paradox, and number two is Simpson's paradox. Both paradoxes are closely related to each other. Bergson paradox is a result in statistics. It is a counter-intuitive idea demonstrates that two completely independent events seem to be correlated in the population, but actually they are not correlated. Well, this is very wonderful. Let me explain this with example. In a high school, taller students may appear to be positively correlated with being good at mathematics. Well, if you test correlation between taller students and mathematics ability, you might get positive correlation. However, logically thinking, a student's height and math skills are not correlated. It means there is no logical explanation that both could be correlated. Of course, being taller has nothing to do with being good at mathematics. If you are tall, it will not make you to become good or bad at mathematics. Bergson's paradox is particularly a kind of selection bias or statistical result caused by systematically observing some events more than others. In our example, the positive correlation between taller students and mathematics ability is simply because taller students likely to be older and have studied more mathematics as compared to shorter students. Now just think about this application of Bergson paradox. Patrons rate restaurants based on a number of features. For instance, quality of food and quality of atmosphere of the restaurant. They combine these ratings into an overall rating from 1 to 5 stars. Now just think that you come across two restaurants that you know have 5 star ratings. You are standing outside both restaurants, you can see inside, but you have not tasted the food yet. Which restaurant is more likely to have the best tasting food? Can you assess whether it would be worse looking restaurant, better looking restaurant, or equally likely given information? In this example, you can see that although quality of food and quality of atmosphere of the restaurant may be correlated to each other but logically there is no correlation between them so this is a paradox which is called bergson paradox now i'll explain the second paradox which is simpson's paradox simpson's paradox occurs when groups of data show one particular trend but this trend is reversed when the groups are combined together now see this mathematical inequality the small letter A divided by small b is less than capital A divided by capital B. In this example, of course, A and B are some numbers. Now see, the second inequality, small c divided by small d is less than capital C divided by capital D. But when you combine both inequalities, the result is inversed. This is a surprising thing for you. Small a plus small c divided by small b plus small d becomes greater than capital A plus capital C divided by capital B plus capital D. Let me explain this with an example. A company is hiring employees for its finance and innovation departments. In finance department, one male was selected while five were interviewed. In same department, two females were selected while eight females were interviewed. Less males were selected than females in finance department. In innovation department, six males were selected out of eight males who were interviewed. In same department, four females were selected while five were interviewed. Again, less males were selected than females in innovation department. If you combine these two inequalities, we get a surprising result that for both departments, 7 out of 13 males were hired and 6 out of 13 females were hired. You see, 
that after combining both inequalities, the trend has been reversed. You can clearly see that more males were hired as compared to females. How can it be that each department favors women applicants and yet overall men got better than women? This is a bias in the sampling, but it is not easy to see exactly where this bias arises. The key to this paradox lies in the fact that more women are applying for the jobs that are harder to get. We can also call Simpson's paradox as a reversal of inequalities. Now look at this example. You and your friend tempted a quiz for two consecutive days. On Saturday, you solved seven out of eight problems, but your friend solved two out of two. You had solved more problems, but your friend pointed out that he was more accurate because he has got 100% marks and you got 87.5% marks. On Sunday, you only attempted two problems and got one correct answer. Your friend got five out of eight problems correct. Your friend won once again because he got 62.5% marks and you got 50% marks. When you add both inequalities, you become surprised that you have got 80% whereas your friend got 70% marks. You can see that after adding the inequalities, the inequalities become inversed. Isn't it surprising? So this was an easy explanation with the examples of Bergson's and Simpson's paradoxes. These paradoxes are frequently encountered in business management and organizational research. Thank you very much for watching this video. As a group of professionals, you will almost always be separated from other professionals who are not practicing in your field. In the digital age, there is so much potential and opportunity in the power of keeping together. Enjoy the most powerful profile, publish articles, ask questions and chat with like-minded professionals in a community you can identify with. With us, you will have a chance to mingle with the best discussion boards in your profession for further growth. Join today.